Cancruises. Last but not least, welcome to your love reading for July 7th to the 14th. As like as with Virgo and Capricorn, I will be splitting up your weeklies from now to the 21st. Just make it a little bit more fair and to give you a little bit more of an update in between. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you for being patient with all of your other light workers that you guys like to watch. We really appreciate it, guys. Like, this is a hard job, and I know you guys know, know that. Most of you know that. Most of you know that. But I really appreciate it, Taurus. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. So for those who are new, I always go over my meditative session and then the pre-shuffle, and then I get into the reading, okay? So Taurus, <laughs> tapping into your energy. You guys are fuming mad. Oh, my God. You, and I, I was getting, I was hearing all kinds of inner dialogue, but the gist of it was like major injustices, okay? Some of you were like cursing up a storm in your heads, like this shit ain't right, what the fuck is going on? Um, you, you, and okay, at the core of your anger and your frustration is an injustice that you are energetically attached to, okay? I'm like, I'm he really hearing like, this is really not fair, like this, like this shit, this shit ain't fair, this is bullshit. Like a lot of you are cursing a lot in your heads, fuming mad, very that Taurian rage. But what's interesting to me, Taurus, is that I don't feel you're taking action on it yet, which I'm a little scared by, okay, to be honest with you. This injustice, like I said, you're energetically attached to it, and I feel like it's coming across in different ways for different Taurians, okay? And again, this could always be vice versa as well, because it's just energy. But what I was picking up on was a situation where it's something you're witnessing or something that is happening directly to you. But either way, you're being exposed to it, okay? And it's around... A, a situation, an opportunity, a thing or a person that you have a lot of passion for. Okay, so this could apply to just your job. You know, it doesn't even have to be romance specifically because you could just love your job. Um, but that's what it's feeling like. Something you've got a lot of passion for is either being threatened, like, like in a threat of being lost or being taken away, or it's actually happened. Okay, but you, for some reason, Taurus, Taurus, it's like you're not taking serious action yet, but you're fuming and I can feel it. And that's making me really worried because that can be a big explosion to come as a result of that, okay? So like I said, it's a person, a thing, a situation you have a lot of passion for that you feel is being threatened, unjustly unthreatened and being taken away from you or it's already been taken from you and you feel like it's a major injustice, okay? I'm also hearing roadblock, roadblock. Regarding this thing that you're thing or person that you're very, very passionate about, I think you have hit a lot of blocks along the way, Taurus. Um, no one's no no one's with me on this. I just heard that. No one's with me on this. Oh, Taurus. You kind of feel like you're you kind of feel like you're getting ganged up on. And if you're if it's something you're witnessing, it's like you're witnessing someone being ganged up on and it's making you really upset. Really upset. Um, very festery kind of energy, but that's that's the kind of energy that I was picking up on with you. And what's also really interesting, they showed me a bear, but they did that for Gemini. So, I, I mean, you could be a Taurian gem cusper. I just thought that was really interesting because it was so clear. I was like, are they showing me the same thing they showed me for Gemini? Like, there's got to be a, a, a connection there for those for those of you. They showed it to me really quickly, so I couldn't really pick up on the energy too too much. Um, but if it is connected to the Gemini reading, I do feel like it is regarding that bear, <clears throat> excuse me, person. And maybe you feel like they're being unjustly attacked or maybe you feel like you're about to lose your bear if you're connecting with that Gemini reading. But this aggression, though, I'm feeling it's more of like the shadow side of bear, right? Um, like that shadowy kind of like very aggressive, very much like I'm going to rip your fucking face off. <laughs> kind of energy which is the anger i'm feeling from you guys okay so it could just relate more to that but let's get into your pre-shuffle oh i forgot they showed me a food which i thought was weird so maybe someone's just eating a lot of this food or it could be resonating with you on another level but they showed me cheese i don't know what that's about but they showed me cheese maybe this passionate thing makes you cheesy. I don't know, but that's what they showed me. Sometimes my guides show me stuff and I know I have to just give it to you, even if it doesn't make sense to me right away. Maybe it might make sense as we go into the reading, but cheese and very specifically Swiss. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but let's get into it, okay? We have two of cups. Oh, bacteria. Oh, oh, really? I don't want to tell you guys to not eat cheese, but they... They just said bacteria with cheese. And I I guess with the way cheese is made, it's like, you know, there's the whole mold factor. Oh, I love cheese. Um, 
Decide what you want to do with that. Let's continue. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy here. Ace of Wands in reverse with the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Page of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Two of Wands, Aries energy. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. And then we have Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy here. So yeah, let's come back over here. Like I said, something you have, something or someone that you have a lot of passion for, a lot of passion. It just really makes your fire burn bright, honestly. It burn bright and burn high and burn strong. However, Ace of Wands in a verse and the Star in a verse. Again, you feel like it's it's being taken away from you. You feel like it's being threatened um, or you're witnessing something that you have a lot of passion for being threatened. Um, some of you, you've actually lost it. But with the Star card, I do feel like it's something that was your dream, like was your freaking wish. And it's like, what the hell? I worked so hard to get to this point. And again, I'm getting this roadblock energy. I keep hitting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. Page of Swords in a verse. Ooh. Some of you are, are again, some of you is just a feeling of a threat, like you actually don't have it lost yet, but some of you are just feeling threatened. Others, like I said, you've already lost this. For some, it's due to lies, honestly. It's due to very serious miscommunication. Intentional? You're wondering if it was intentional. You're wondering if it was like, oh, this is really, oh, this is really interesting. For some of you where there's a person at the forefront of this who's kind of triggering this, um, you're wondering if this miscommunication or misunderstanding, and I'm doing this because you're wondering if it was actually intentional. You're wondering if they really like strategically lied or deceived you. And it's almost like they like set up a miscommunication. How is that possible? I mean, you'd have to be really, oh, am I out of focus? Hi. <laughs> um, you'd have to be very, um, hmm. Pretty crafty and strategic and a little maniacal to be able to be like, okay, I'm going to set up a situation where it just looks like it's a miscommunication, but it's really the way I want it to go. But your mind is going there. Taurus, be careful with that line of thinking. I only say be careful because you're so angry that, you know, you could be running away with your thoughts a little bit on that one, okay? I'm also getting, a, I'm, I'm definitely getting an explosion. I'm definitely an explosion. Please be careful, Taurus, with that rage. If you keep it pre like pent up, like, oh, they just showed me the parrot card. I'll pull it down in a minute. If you keep that shit pent up, Taurus, um, you're going to explode and it's going to be intense. It's going to be some gnarly words. So just be mindful. Just be mindful of that. Okay. And then we have these three cards. Nope. The two of wands, three of pentacles in a verse and five of pentacles in a verse. I am getting a resilient energy off of you, Taurus, where it's like, no one's on my side. I'm in this alone. I'm in this on my own. I'm also getting like, um, reallocation reallocation recollecting like trying to like recollect like collect yourself okay collect yourself collect what resources you have left after feeling threatened or actually losing this whatever that is god i'm just feeling it's like opportunity of a lifetime honestly is what i'm getting opportunity of a lifetime you're trying to you're you're trying to to get out of an energy of feeling that threat of feeling that loss and being like no I can fucking have this, I can fucking have this. It's mine. I I'm gonna I might have hit a roadblock, but I can fucking have this. And it's so unjust of what I, of, of what I'm witnessing. I'm just getting witnessing, witnessing, witnessing. Wow. Okay, Taurus. Oh, I'm a little scared to do your reading. But let's go ahead and get into it. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. <laughs> I just like I heard you guys ask where I am. I'm in New Orleans. All right. Any messages from my Torians regarding love from now until the 14th? Oh, you guys. I love you guys so much. First of all, thank you to everybody who reached out to me regarding the earthquakes. I'm just, I'm feeling like, I'm just feeling the love from you right now, which is actually really awesome. But I need to stay in Taurian energy. And it's actually very distracting. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'll share this with you guys. I just saw... It was definitely a spirit. I have the chills all over. Um, 
wasn't full apparition, but it was energy for sure. Like huge lift of energy. Okay. I mean, I am new in New Orleans, but wow. Anyway, focus, focus, focus. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? From now until July 14th. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? From now until July 14th. Any messages for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th? Okay. Any messages for Taurus? Three of Wands, Aries energy, okay? Waiting for your ships to come in. It's mine. Oh my God, Taurus. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> That's definitely how you guys are. I'm just, it's so intense. It's making me laugh. Um, it's so Taurian. It's so Taurian. That's mine. Um, that's how you're feeling. And I don't blame you because I feel like whatever this is, you put on a lot of your energy towards it. And if you haven't taken a whole lot of action regarding it, I feel like you have. But if you haven't, you've just put on a lot of your mental energy in planning. Thank you. Planning. Into planning this. Into planning. Into planning for this opportunity of a lifetime. Into getting this opportunity of a lifetime. It's mine. That's mine. Any other messages for Taurus? Regarding love from now until the 14th. Let's see what we got here. All right. Strength in reverse. Oh, boy. Leo energy here. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing losing control. I got to be honest, Taurus. I'm hearing losing control. You're losing your fucking mind. And I, I, I do understand, Taurus. I do. Um, you know, when you have an opportunity of a lifetime, like that's literally how a lot of you feel about this or someone that you're connected to. Opportunity of a lifetime. Um, when you have something like that and you feel like, it's been taken away from you. I know it's it's hard to not feel <laughs> angry, resentful, but I, I'm getting so much of it, Taurus. And I know that we're in a lot of Leo energy right now. We are in a lot of Leo energy, not to mention Chiron is about to go retrograde tomorrow in Aries. A lot of fire on the board. Um, it is making people very fiery, very, very fiery with what they want and how they communicate. So just be mindful. Just be mindful because I am getting with the strength card in reverse that you're losing control in this. Oh, 12, 12, as I said that. Okay. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th? Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. That's mine. Again, I'm getting that's mine. That's my, that's my opportunity. That's my dream. That's my wish. And it's not going to be taken from me. But you do feel like it's, it, you feel like it is being taken from you. But you're like, it's not being taken from me, but you feel like it is. Again, a lot of you, it's a threat. Some of you, you're actually losing this opportunity. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th? Like I said, for some, this is business. Others, this is love. I don't feel family or friends involved in this. It feels very strictly romance or business. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? Wow, you guys got a three-card reading. Oh, geez. Overall energy, cherry in reverse, Cancerian energy. Underneath that, Ace of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like you go into contemplation mode. I mean, you're in a lot of anger, but Taurus, for you to go into contemplation mode, you got to calm it down. You got to calm it down. You got to get grounded. You got to bring yourself back down a little bit so you can start thinking straight, okay? Because when we're angry like that, we don't always think straight, right? I mean, just as a human being. Um, but you need to figure this out because, again, road. I'm getting that major roadblock energy. How many roadblocks am I going to hit? How many more detours am I going to have to take? Yeah, you're really frustrated. You're like at the end of your rope, Taurus, but you're seeking truth and clarity on how to get around this roadblock, okay? So let's go ahead into the three of wands and see if we can get more details off of that. I'm gonna use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about three of wands for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th. Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th. You know, Taurus, if this is about a person, and again, this could all be vice versa, uh, it is energy. If this is about a person, I think I think you feel like you're losing them to another person. Like, like your opportunity is still there, but for someone else now. But I feel like that's lacking confirmation. I gotta be honest, Taurus. I feel like that's lacking confirmation. Oh, my guy's just said assumption. 
Taurus, if you're in that situation where, you know, you're thing that you're your person that you're really passionate about and again very specific this is a scenario where it's about a person that you're very passionate about and you feel like there's a threat of you losing them or that you've lost them because you think another person's taking that opportunity i don't think it's true and like i said it that's for those who've made that assumption i'm getting assumption really strong in that scenario okay if you don't have proof you can't assume that that's what's happening okay and that goes for everybody like try not to make assumptions Four Agreements, by the way, is an awesome book. Please read it. Um, and for those who haven't read it, that's like the very first agreement. Don't make assumptions. It makes life a hell of a lot easier. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus. You also could be an Aries Taurus Cusper. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. Okay. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love from now until the 14th. Wow. Three of Pentacles in reverse again. Capricorn energy. This came up in your pre-shuffle with the other deck here. You got two threes on the board, just have to say. Um, lack of collaboration. Again, solo. Solo energy. It's mine. It doesn't belong to anyone else's. <laughs> anyone else's? That's weird. Why did I say it like that? Anyone else's? I don't know why I said it like that. But for anyone else's, what would that even apply to? It's mine and it's no one else. I don't know why it sounds weird to me. It sounds weird to me. But anyway, again, I'm also getting that you're very much alone in this. You feel like you don't have any support. You feel like whatever this precious thing is or thing that you're very passionate about, you feel like no one wants you to have it, essentially. You feel like no one wants you to have it. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. Tell me about Three of Wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. Okay, so I got two more cards. Let's see what we got. Wow. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. And then we have the Hangman, Piscean energy. Ooh, you feel really stuck. Oh, Taurus, you feel really, really stuck. And again, with this Knight of Wands in reverse, I'm getting very unpredictable, very angry, but, but I was going to say volatile, but then violent wanted to come out, and then I just went blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting violent energy, which makes sense with how much anger I'm feeling from you. No one's on my side. No one wants me to have this. It's mine. It doesn't belong to anyone else. It's mine. They're mine. It's mine. And again, all that anger coming through. Oh, my God. Taurus... Please be careful. Do not repress this anger. It will bite you in the ass. Do not repress this anger. And then we have the hangman Piscean energy, right? And it's interesting because I feel like this is here to try to get you out of that anger, like <laughs> to calm down that Taurian rage to come to a place of meditation, right? And it's funny because I've said this in other readings. When the hermit's out, usually the hangman follows suit. They're almost like a like a partner in crime in tarot, I've noticed. Like every time I do a reading and I get the hermit, like 90% of the time, the hangman comes out too. And it's funny because they're one sevens of each other, right? Because Virgo, Pisces, seventh natural seventh house. Seventh house for these for the respective signs. But anyway, um, I do feel like it is coming in to try to put you in a meditative state of like, hey, you can figure this out. Because in the hangman mode, hangman is about growing spiritually. It's about figuring things out, but not by going within. It's like by, by reaching out to your guides, right? Relying on your faith. Um, learning to have trust in what in what is occurring and what's coming as opposed to looking within which is more the hermit's job so it's funny you you're you have to do it all Taurus like to figure out how to hold on to your passionate thing or to get out of this energy of feeling threatened you have to calm down you have to get grounded you have to make sure you're connected to your intuition and connected to spirit so that while you're in this place of being a little stuck and stagnant, you will get the answers you need and you will start to see things clearly regarding these roadblocks. And I got to be honest, Taurus, but especially for those who've had a lot of roadblocks regarding this, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's not normal to have this many roadblocks unless spirit wants you to have these roadblocks. You know, it could just be a timing thing, like maybe this passionate thing or person you know the opportunity of a lifetime energy it might be an opportunity of a lifetime but maybe it's not 
the exact time for you right now to have it. Or you could just not be ready for it and you mm, don't get mad. I just felt that. I just felt that, Taurus. I just felt that. <laughs> you might not be ready for it in the way you think you are. Okay? Spirit might be saying, hey, it's here. And we, oh, sorry. <laughs> Different camera angle I'm working with. Hey, it's here, but there's something else you need to do first. There's some more growing you need to do first, or there's a lesson you need to do first. It's like there's, and I, yeah, that's coming in really strong, Taurus, honestly. For some of you, it's because you still have a lesson to learn or two, or you still have some growing to do. Um, mm, this, roadblock, this roadblock for a couple of you in that group might even be a little bit of a test. Can Taurus handle resistance? And then you get, I, and then you got angry. Can you handle resistance? That's a lesson for a couple of you. I can feel it. Can you handle being pushed back? Can you handle someone having a different opinion? Can you handle people getting up in your business? Can you handle people getting up in the mix and then you still have to overcome that? Can you handle that? A couple of you are having to learn that maybe I don't know how to do that yet, but you will. But when the hangman comes out, it's about lessons being learned. And you will learn these lessons once you come out of this hangman position, okay? But that's only for some of you. For those who are experiencing a natural amount of, unnatural amount of these roadblocks, okay? Anyway, really fell down that rabbit hole. Overall energy for the three of wands. We do have three of cups in reverse. Can't Cancerian energy, okay? Really feeling that lack of joy. And again, feeling like no one is supporting you in this. Like no one has your back. And by the way, you do have three threes. Synchronicities have been crazy for everybody in my readings lately. But yeah, you just feel like no one's on your side. No one's on your side and you're losing it. You're trying not to lose it. It's okay to have confidence, Taurus. Don't get over cocky because this energy that we're in right now is making people very cocky and overconfident uh, to the point where it's like it's becoming detrimental for a lot of people in the way they communicate and approach situations. During this time, let's mention, mention Mercury retrograde as well. But you know, just watch that. Just watch that. Regain control. Tame yourself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tame yourself. 20 to 11, as I said that as well. Let's go into the Nine of Cups in reverse, and then we'll do um, advice, and then we'll wrap this up, okay? All right. Gilded. Gilded, gilded, gilded. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Taurus, regarding love, you know, if this is about a relationship, you might feel like no one wants you to have it because honestly, they might be threatened by the other person or threatened by you being with them. Because I do feel a lot of resistance you're, you're experiencing or witnessing, Taurus, a lot of resistance. Tell me about Nine of Cups in a verse, like so much so that it's a red flag to you. Like, why would they not support this? You know, it's almost like, why, why would they, they be so resistant to me having this or to whatever you're witnessing, right? Yeah, I feel like it's because they, they know it's going to elevate you or something like that, of that nature. They, they know it's your opportunity of a lifetime and they don't want you to have it. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For You know, and honestly, Taurus, you know, and I feel like I had to say this sometime last week. Sometimes people just don't want to see people happy. It's sad, but it's true. Sometimes people just don't want people to be happy because they're not happy. And I feel like I've said this line, like, how dare you be happy? Right? That's kind of what's going on right there for some of you. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Taurus, regarding love, from now until the 14th. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, being on your path. For me as a reader, this is my blueprint card in tarot. Um, being on your path, looking at what you've done already up to this point and how much more you can do to get to your Ten of Pentacles, to get to your ultimate stability, your long haul dream, your opportunity of a lifetime. What else can I do? Because like I said, you feel like it's being st like stolen from you in a way or actually just being threatened of being taken. And you're like, oh no, 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 no. Let's reevaluate. <laughs> oh no, I'm reevaluating this situation. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Taurus, regarding love, 
Sun in reverse, Leo energy here. Yeah, you're seeking the answers. You're seeking the solution. Okay, I like this, Taurus, because I'm actually feeling you calming down, which is good. You needed to do that. You needed to do that. And it is coming out of, out, after, not out of, after. It is coming after that point of losing control. So I like that. You're trying to seek out the resolution, seek out the answer, get as much clarity as possible. I love it. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love from now until July 14th. Play about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th. Play about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until July 14th. A lot of cards came out, guys, but let's see what we got here. So first card out after that was Page of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups, Piscean energy, could also be water or fire. King of Wands, Leo energy, also could be uh, fire or air. And then we have Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, could also be earth or fire. Overall energy for Nine of Cups in reverse, we got a Queen of Wands, god damn it. Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, could also be fire or water. Mm. Oh, Taurus. <sighs> The tension, the tension from all of the frustration is what I'm feeling right now. And it's intense. It's actually making me a little queasy. Um, might even make you a little queasy too, Taurus. Sometimes I know when Taurians are upset or nervous, they like get a little bit of an upset stomach. Um, but let, let's, oh, Jesus, let's get into this, okay? Because I'm actually getting... Um, a very aggressive move from you which is interesting because i was like you're not taking action but no 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 after you you calm down and reevaluate it's like you go back into the lion's den and you go to to handle this shit page of cups in reverse and page of swords in reverse this is where i'm feeling the repression before you go ahead and, and say whatever it is you gotta say okay i'm getting a lot of repressed um emotions and a lot of repressed um truth you know things you've been wanting to say Things you've been wanting to say, things you've been wanting to talk about, about how this whole situation's made you feel. Basically, how you feel and think about it. How you feel and think about it. But it's interesting because we have them as pages, what you've been repressing. And I think that's because it's starting to fester, right? It's starting to fester. It's starting to become a little bit less mature. And that's not a, that's not a dig at you. That's not a dig at you. I'm just trying to find the right word. But you know, it's like when we're sitting with something and we're like, okay, we can think about it. We can talk about it. And we're being very mature, very adult, very adult about it. But the more we repress something and let it fester and sit with us and it just gets us into that low vibrational place, sometimes we do start to approach it from an immature standpoint just because we're losing that control, right? But when you're not repressing it anymore, look, a knight and a king, Right? So while you're repressing it, you're in a page kind of energy. So be mindful of that. It is a little bit lower vibrational because it's all being repressed. It's emotions and truth that you're keeping to yourself. You've kept your mouth shut. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, guys. They showed me the parrot. They just showed it to me again, and I forgot to bring it out. Hold on. It might come out in the... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to show it. It might come out in the when we do advice. But parrot spirit is basically about communication, right? Parrots, as we know, are really good at communication. Um... They can copy and mimic and all that stuff. And sometimes it can become a little obnoxious, right? That's the energy that I was getting. Like, please be so mindful about your words because the more you repress, the more likely you're going to explode and it's all going to come out very harsh and not in the way that's going to be conducive to getting your securing, I'll say securing, securing your opportunity to lifetime here, okay? But now let's move into this energy. The Knight of Cups with King of Wands and a uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's interesting, Taurus. There's a lot of court cards. I don't think, well, no, for some of you, there's a lot of people involved in this. For some of you, especially if it's business related, there's a lot of people involved in this. But Taurus, I'm actually getting that you're harnessing these two energies right here. It's almost like you're, you're saying to yourself, okay, I'm gonna approach this with not just confidence, but a little bit of charm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in with some, with some honey, because I'm going to attract a lot of flies. <laughs> you know, it's like you, you're you're real you're really strategizing here Taurus and I like it and you're you're able to do that because you've calmed down. Okay? Get grounded, calm the fuck down and you will handle this 
very strategically, okay? Also, I'm getting a lot of tact. With the King of Wands, they are very, they can also be very charming in their own right, this King of Wands. Um, and they are someone who can take action. They are someone who's a little flirty, someone who is a bit of the life of the party, right? People love King of Wands. You know that. You know that. So you're going to harness that energy along with the Knight of Cups. It's almost, I'm hearing counter offer. That's interesting. I'm actually hearing counter offer. For some of you, where you're feeling threatened by having this precious thing that you're passionate about being taken or stolen or what have you, um, I feel like there was an offer put on the table that made you flip into that feeling of, of threat. You know, and if it's business related, maybe they offered, oh, come back. You know, maybe they offered like, you know, I know we said that you could have that promotion or you could have that project, but you know, we were thinking you might be better suited for this. And you're like, excuse me? And it's like something that's not as amazing to you or to you personally. Like, not to say it's a bad offer, but you feel like it's a bad offer. You feel like, no, 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 I'm worth more. I deserve more. I am getting a bit of a counter offer, okay, for some of you. And if this is romance related, it's like you're coming in with an offer that you're, you're like, I, I'm going to make this an offer that no one can refuse. That no one can refuse and I'm not going to lose my person. I'm not going to lose my person. But with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting a situation where it's like there hasn't been any movement for a while, Taurus. Because of the roadblocks. Thank you. Because of the roadblocks. You've been, you've been putting in so much mental energy in planning this. And it's like, I almost feel like every time you're about to execute your plan, something happens. Every time you feel like, okay, maybe now I can do it. Maybe now I can go for it. Maybe now it's mine. Maybe now I can really jump in there and seize it because you want it to be done right. You know, Torians, you're notorious for moving slow, which is not a bad thing. That's how you build things the right way. And I think that's been your approach, but I think in a way that's also worked against you in this for some of you. And that'll resonate how it's supposed to for those who need that. But I also get a fear of, of another roadblock. I'm also like a fear of... Even if I do this, what if I just hit another roadblock? You can't be afraid of the roadblocks. They happen for reasons, like I said, because maybe it just wasn't the perfect time. You know, maybe Spirit felt like you had to learn a couple other things before you could really um, take advantage fully of this opportunity or person. Uh, but overall energy for the Nine of Cups in reverse, we do have Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? Uh, oof. Which is interesting because we do have a perfect pair here. A perfect pair. Soulmate energy. I actually... Why do I feel like this queen is part of the roadblock? Let me get into this a little bit. Taurus, whoever this is, they are they are someone who is part of your soul tribe. Someone that you're very compatible with. But um, mm, they've been part of this roadblock situation. And I think you're about to find that out. Some of you don't even realize that. Some of you don't realize that. And some of you are. Some of you are going to realize that this person's been part of your roadblock. Um, this could be the root of the fear, right? Of I can't really attain it. And that could be like a past experience with a person like that. But I really feel like it's someone who's, um, who's very energetically attached to you who doesn't support you. Who doesn't support you. Yeah. Who doesn't support you? Who doesn't support you having it? You're finding that out. You're finding that out. They might even come in as a Knight of Pentacles in reverse to be like, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Uh, why do you think you could have that opportunity? Why do you think you could have that person? Why do you think you could have that job? Why do you think you could have that project? I'm getting nitpicking too. This is interesting. Let's get the Kipper deck out here. I want to know more about this Queen of Wands. Oh my God, 34 minutes? Shit. Um... Okay, we're going to look at the Queen of Wands a little bit, and then we'll do the Spirit Animal deck. Play about this Queen of Wands for Taurus from now until the 14th. Ooh, expectation. This is usually like a three-month expectation, like literally a three-month timeline. It's also cyclical energy, so cycles closing out. It's also very similar to a Three of Wands energy, which you do have here, okay? You know, I got to be honest with what I'm getting. So I know I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. So again, just take home what resonates. So Taurus, I'm picking up an energy with this Queen of Wands where you have an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay? 
And for some of you, that's a person. For those where that's a person, this Queen of Wands, I feel, is a little bit of a jealous ex or someone who really is like, who feels like you're kind of theirs, like they're sticking a claim over you kind of energy. They have a lot of expectations, quite literally. They have a lot of expectations regarding you. And they expect you to follow those expectations. Wow. Okay. That's, that's just like one little group that I was getting there. Let's see what else I got with this. This three month is, the three months is keeps coming back to me. Where are we? We're in July. So three months ago would have been April. Something could have happened in April with this queen or something could be happening three months down the line, but I feel like it's a past energy of like we're reaching the end of a three month timeline with this. Let's see what else we got with this queen of wands. Tell me about the queen of wands in reverse. Tell me about the queen of wands in reverse. I'm feeling this person is very, very selfish, to be honest. Official person with the energy of 22. Official person acts as a confirmation energy, like inevitable or it's already happened. And it's funny because I said there was a past energy, right? It's already occurred. Let's see. Tell me about this queen of wands in reverse. They could also be someone like a boss. They could be your boss, Taurus, if this is all business. They could definitely be your boss. Official person is someone who has a title. Tell me about queen of wands for Taurus regarding love from now until the 14th. But I think you have the right approach here, Taurus, coming in with a lot of charm um, and very likable energy, along with very entrepreneurial energy, I think is going to be the key here, even if it is romance. It's taking the lead, being alpha, being alpha, but putting a lot of honey on it. <laughs> All right. Do I have the Queen of Wands in reverse? Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Taurus regarding love. Oh, we got the lovers. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay. What do we got here? Unexpected income, 27, breaking down to a nine. Completions. Interesting. Bad health, 31, breaking down to a four. And we've got freaking lovers, man. 15, breaking down to a six. And then we have sudden wealth with the energy of 11. Yeah, for some of you, this is a jealous ex. And I'm getting that they want money from you, Taurus. This is interesting. Yeah, for some of you, this is definitely a jealous ex who's expecting to get money from you because with bad health attached to that unexpected income and lovers, that's basically like exactly how it sounds. Unhealthy situation. Unhealthy situation, unhealthy connection, unhealthy expectations. And then ending with sudden wealth. And it's all attached to this queen of wands. They're expecting money from you. They're expecting money from you. And again, with this three month time period, right? With, with expectation. They might rely on you financially. Why is this like, <sighs> this person's your roadblock. Taurus, I hate to break it to you. Like you said, like, like you've been hitting roadblocks. Why do I keep hitting these roadblocks? This, this person doesn't belong in your energy. You want an opportunity of the, you want this opportunity of a lifetime. You want that passion. You want that thing that you're passionate about. The thing that really lights up your world, whether it's a job or an actual person. But this, I'm getting obligation, this obligation that you have with this Queen of Wands, because again, I'm like, they're attached to you and they have a lot of expectations, which tells me that there's some sense of obligation, if there's sense of expectation, right? You don't have space for that in your new opportunity. You need to get rid of this person. Sorry, I've never been so blunt about it, but, and it's, I'm just part, partly this energy too. Let's see what's on the, I'm about to say, let's see what's on the bottom. Mm hmm yeah false person yeah I would say that's describing this queen of wands they have expectations on you and Expe expectations around money a very unhealthy connection and they are they are very selfish they're all about them whatever they've presented themselves as to you it is quite the opposite Taurus I'm getting jackpot jackpot might be you might be dealing with a gold digger if this is all romantic yeah, this is romantic. You're dealing with a gold digger. If this is business related, I feel like this is a business partnership that you ha that you haven't gotten rid of. And as you're trying to chase this other business opportunity, you keep hit you keep hitting hit hitting. Excuse me. You keep hitting these roadblocks because this person's taking up too much energetic space in your in your life. There's no space for this new opportunity, and I think that's why spirit keeps stopping you. I know I'm being a little harsh. I don't mean to be. I'm just you know I want to get these messages very clear to you. And you're sitting there wondering, 
How do I, hold on if I could pick this up. Jesus. <laughs> How do I get around this roadblock? How do I get around these roadblocks? Why does this keep happening? Because you literally have a toxic connection in business and or love that has a lot of expectations on you and they and getting leeching. Yeah, it's like money bags, money bags. They think they can get money off of you. And then again, if this is business, it's like they look at you as their cash cow. Like they can't make a lot of money. Sorry, Taurus. I got my, my alarm went off. I didn't even realize I had an alarm on there. Um, but anyway, Taurus, yeah, that's what's going on. So I know it's a lot of messages, guys. So if you have to watch this a couple times, I would not be surprised. A um, lot of messages for different Taurians or people attached to Taurians. Um, and if you're someone who's waiting on a Taurus, like you're their window of, opp your window of opportunity, you're their once in a lifetime opportunity, this Queen of Wands has been keeping them from, from going after you. Okay. Wow. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Okay. Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Any advice from the Torians regarding this spread? Okay. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two. Like, yeah, you've got a lot of fire, Taurus, because you want to be done with this. You want to get out. You want your opportunity of a lifetime. You want to secure it. You want to make sure that it's not going to get away from you, and you might feel like it's getting away from you. It's time to take serious action. And Taurus, you know that. You know that. That's why you're coming in with such fire. The king is also air and the knight is also water here, but knights are fire and you have a king of wands. You got a lot of fire here backing you, okay? Use it. It's time to speed up. You can't go at that Taurian pace anymore. You know it though. You know it. You already know it. Any other advice? Preemptive action, preemptive strike also is what I just heard. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? See what we got here oh wow skunk spirit know your worth 54 breaking down to a nine so completions with coyote spirit trust and divine detours what did i say <laughs> divine roadblocks right 16 breaking down to a seven. Oh, taurus this is the lesson you have to learn yeah i knew spirit was keeping you from this opportunity for a reason why have i been experiencing these roadblocks with coyote spirit that's what coyote spirit does it throws you a curveball on your path and you're like whoa, whoa, whoa what the hell what the hell? Now I got to take a detour. Now I have a roadblock. I got to figure out how to get around. Spirit does that for a reason to make sure that you are on your path, but that you're also getting into opportunities that you're actually ready for. Know your worth. This is your lesson, Taurus. Do not put up with this queen of wands anymore. Clearly they're very selfish, right? Where, where did that, where did that card go? Right? They're very selfish, very self-serving, They'll, they'll say whatever they got to say to you to keep you in this energy of expectation and obligation because they have a very unhealthy connection with you. I'm also hearing codependence and I do feel like it's money based. All right. Know your worth to get away from this so that you can make room for the opportunity that you are worthy of because you are worthy of that opportunity. The star wouldn't have been out there if it wasn't for you. Right. You're worthy of that opportunity, but not while you have this Queen of Wands in your life. This Queen of Wands is lowering your vibration because you're not recognizing that you deserve better treatment than that, okay? That's what Spirit's trying to teach you. Quite literally, with these two cards together, that's what Spirit's trying to teach you. All right, let's see what else we got. Any other advice for Taurus? Any other advice for Taurus? Regarding this spread, any other advice? That spirit, a rebirth is assured with the energy of five. Once you make this change, Taurus, and you do understand your worth and have that self-love to get away from that kind of toxic person, you can have a whole new beginning with your opportunity of a lifetime, okay? Let's see what else we got. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Ooh, Ooh. Oh, oh, Jesus, okay. 
<laughs> Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. 63, bring it down to a nine. I freaking love this card. Maybe just because it's such a scorpionic card and I'm a little biased. Um, but nothing is wasted. This is recycling your pain, recycling any energy you can and turning it into gold, turning a turd into gold, essentially, right? You can take this funky, festery energy of the Queen of Wands and you can turn it into something else, and especially with your anger. I feel like it's alluding to your anger more than anything. You can cut away this Queen of Wands and take that energy and use it to manifest, right? You're taking your frustration and you calm down, you get grounded, and look at the energy you start to go into. Like, strategically, all right, time to put on the charm. I'm gonna charm anyone's pants off that I have to in order to get what I need to get. And I don't mean that in the sense of sexuality, I just mean in the sense of the phrase, like being very charming. Being very charming, being very likable to get my opportunity of a lifetime. Don't waste any of your energy. Because staying in that festery anger is not going to get you anywhere. And you you realize that. Overall, ooh, I love this card. Otter Spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. I'm definitely feeling this for those who have like a person that they're trying to get. Oh my God, it's so fucking sweet. And, oh my God, I think even in the Gemini reading, you guys have this. Um, you guys, yeah, there's definitely some of you where that Gemini reading is attached to this Taurian reading. But anyway... Um, for those where it's not a person, it's an opportunity. Spirit does love you. Spirit is there for you. Okay. You might feel like spirits working against you, but they're not, they're not, they want you to be ready for this opportunity and they want you to hand, like take full advantage of it. Really run with it. They want you to, but they know that you can't have it with this queen of wands fucking things up for you. They know that they do love you. They care about you, Taurus, and they are always there for you. And they're always listening. Okay, I feel like I had to say that for some of you. They are always listening, Taurus, okay? So just know that. You might feel otherwise, but they are there. And they're always there, always. You are not alone in this. You might, no one No one supports me in this. No one wants me to have this. No one's happy for me to have this opportunity and it just keeps getting further and further away from me. Like I said, partly because of this Queen of Wands. Um, but the truth is spirit always does. Spirit is always there for you. Spirit does have your back. And for those where you have a, a person as your opportunity of a lifetime, they're still there. You haven't lost them, Taurus. And I, I even said this during your reading. You have this fear of like they're stolen from you already for the per people who are in that person group, right? They're not. They are right there. They're right there. And underneath that, look, frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Clear out the trash, okay? Not to bash... Anyone here who might be the Queen of Wands in a verse? I don't think any of y'all would be the Queen of Wands in a verse here because this seems like a very self-serving person who is not awakened, and all of you pretty much are. Clear out the trash, clear out the clutter, so you can have your opportunity of a lifetime, and also so that you can know that spirit does have your back, so you can learn the lesson you have to learn to have this opportunity. Okay? Wow, this was an intense read. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great night, Taurus. Namaste.